Yo, what's up guys? King Chris here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video on how to change your font in H1Z1. So first, let me start out by showing you the old font versus the new font so you can see why you may want to do this. So I have a screenshot here showing the old font. So as you can see in the kill feed here, the old font is really skinny. It's hard to read and it's almost transparent. And then in the gas advances here, this is pretty skinny. You can look at the HP. Uh, let me show you a clip of a video that shows the new font. So this new font is the impact font that I've installed. And this is a lot thicker. It's a lot easier to read. And to me, it just looks way better than the old font. As you can see here, my health, my vehicle condition are the new impact font and the gas is spreading is the new um, impact font as well. So you can see it's a lot thicker. It's just easier to read. And I personally just like it. And uh, if I'm trying to look at the kill feed out of the corner of my eye really quickly to see who may be in my game, uh, then I can um, see it a little easier when I have this thicker impact font. <clears throat> so uh, if you like that, then you can continue to watch the video and I'll show you guys how to install it. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's just a little tedious once you get into the pasting portion. So first you're going to come down to Steam and then you're going to go to your library. You're going to find King of the Kill. Right click. You're going to hit Properties and go to Local Files. And then you're going to go Browse Local Files. And then you're going to come down to UI, then Resources, Fonts. So we can close out Steam over here. This is the folder we want. <clears throat> so these are all the fonts that are in the game right now. You can highlight all these fonts. You're going to right click, copy, and then I've already done it up here, but I'm going to create a new folder to back up uh, the old fonts. You guys should do this too. So paste them into here. Now you have the old original fonts in there, just in case you mess something up. Old H1 fonts. There you go. Now you just need to download the font that you want. I've already got mine downloaded, it's called Impact, but if you guys need a good website, defont.com is a great website to get fonts. So you can go down here and look under cartoons and find one that you like. I'd recommend finding a bigger, thicker one like Growbald or Bubblegum, um, something that's just easier to read. Uh, you wouldn't want something really skinny like this, Caviar Dreams or the Roboto. Um, so just go down, find something a little thicker, the bold font, Mr. Headlines, all look good to me. Um, but you'll download if you've never used this site and then once you have your zip file You can open that up and find your font. There's a couple different ones. This is impact and this is impacted Those are two different ones, but I'm gonna come here right click copy and then I'll just close that out And now these are all the old ones. So I don't need these I've got them backed up in this folder here in case I need them But I'm gonna delete those out <clears throat> and then I'm gonna right click and paste now this font um, is only paste it in here one time if you look there was like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven different fonts in there so we need to be able to create eleven of these so you're just gonna right click and then copy paste two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so I think we may have one too many but we can delete that at the end if we need to and what you need to do is you need to keep the naming because H1 associates the naming with a certain font in the game. Um, that's something I'm going to want to figure out at some point, you know, which one of these specifically relates to the kill feed font. But for now, all you're going to do is come here, you click rename, and then you're going to copy that name. Then you come over here, start at the bottom, re-click rename, and then control V to paste it. And there you go. And then you're going to go by and do all of these exactly the same. So right click, rename, control C to copy, come over here, rename, and then paste. Now as you can see, it's a pretty tedious process, but you're gonna wanna do this perfectly all the way across. If you end up having one extra here, so make sure you count, you know, there's 11 over here. If you count from the bottom up and you have 11, then you're good. If you have one extra, you can go ahead and delete that out. Once all these um, have been renamed to their original names, uh, then you'll be good to go. So essentially what's happening is you're taking the original font um, names and putting them on the new font. So the styling will have the new font styling, but it will, it will be associated in the right place uh, by the old font name. So um, I'm going to not do this whole deal here so we can keep this video short. I'm going to delete these back out and then I'm going to put all these back in. These are actually uh, not the originals. The originals are here for me. These are my um, impact fonts that I've renamed so I'm going to take these back out of here and then I'm going to put them back into the folder so I keep my uh, impact fonts um, as I have them installed. Once you're done with that you can just close that out and then you can open up H1Z1 just to see what it looks like so we'll right click open here and wait for this to load. You're going to see some of the loading screen uh, fonts have changed to on the buttons 
and in other places. Like I said, at some point it'd be cool to go through and figure out which um, which one of these font names is associated with the buttons and the kill feed and uh, all that. So that way, if you wanted to change just your kill feed or just you know a button to a different font, you could do that. Um, so here we go, play, and let's see what happens. All right, so as you see here, my font has been updated. This press any key, that's different. Enter game, my name, delete. Those are all the impact font. Um, like I said, if you can find out which one of those names were associated with those specific buttons, you could change it individually. All this has been changed to the impact font now. Up top here are the coins. Everything is thicker, it's easier to read. In uh, my opinion, it's something that everybody should do. This is awesome. The kill feed alone is worth it. So. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for the support. We've broken over that 1.5K mark. We're going upwards of 2K subs, so uh, that's awesome. I really appreciate you guys, and I hope you guys have a great Christmas, and I will see you soon with another video. Peace!